everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a quick autumnal makeup look as a mum. Daisy is in the room with me at the moment and I've done all of this makeup with her, like sat with me and I just thought I would show you how I do it because I get asked a lot of questions about like what, what eyeshadow I'm using or what my lip colour is. So this is something that I've been wearing quite a lot at the moment and I thought that you would like it. So to start with I've moisturised my face and this is the Liqueur Caviar Day Cream which is actually from Aldi so if you're looking out for one that's great and I like to have a nice moisturised base to work with and then what I'm going to do is go in with primer. So I'm actually going to go in with two primers because I have pregnant skin and this might seem excessive but I have different needs in different areas. I feel like I've got really enlarged pores at the moment which is why I've got Benefit Professional and then I also feel like my skin's drier than it usually is and I always like to use the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is like a, the Radiance one, it gives a lovely glow. So what I'm going to do is start with the Benefit one and just pop that on my t-zone it's mainly around my nose that i just feel like my pores are a bit crazy at the moment and my chin and then that's going to keep my makeup lasting for longer as well and then when that's all rubbed in i'm going to take the laura mercier primer and i'm going to take a tiny little pea-sized amount of that and just dot it on my cheeks and my forehead and my chin and my nose as well just to sort of brighten my complexion up so now that's all in i'm going to go in with my foundation and i have the Too faced born this way foundation at the moment which i'm really enjoying so my absolute favorite concealer and one that I wouldn't be without is the collection lasting perfection concealer I use the shade number three I think it is yep and it's warm medium so I'm just going to put that on any areas of redness and then for concealer under my eyes I prefer to use the Clarins instant concealer just because I feel like the skin under my eyes is quite delicate and this is a much more liquidy formula and you really don't need that much and I'm just going to share that between both eyes and dab it very gently on my under eye area so typically what I will do now is move on to my eyebrows and the reason why I do that and I don't set my makeup with any powder at this point is because it's a technique that Charlotte Tilbury uses where she allows the foundation to set and that way you need less powder and you have more of of a natural dewy type finish. It's a tip that I've been using and I love. Um, you just tend to look a bit more radiant and it's less caked on. So I allow the foundation to, to set and do its thing while I get on with other areas of my face. So I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow Promade or Pomade, depending on how you say it, in soft brown and the Anastasia brush as well. I also absolutely love um, the Benefit Gimme Brow, but this is for more of a natural brow. So if I was wearing perhaps less makeup, but because I'm to go in with like quite shimmery autumnal eyes and then a bold lip I kind of want to make sure that my brows are still strong in my face so I just take this brush and I follow the natural line of my brows excuse me looking in the viewfinder and I fill in any sparse areas and I try not to overdo it because a scouse brow just does not work on me so a tip with brows is that you want to concentrate the sort of thickness and the depth of your brow towards like the arch and the end because typically if you look at your brows naturally you won't have tons of thick hair here and if you make this area too harsh and too dense then it can give you quite a stern look so I tend to kind of on a gradient really I will work it into the rest of my eyebrow and use any product that's left on my brush just to fill in that area and as you can see I filled it in a little bit but it's not too heavy so next up I'm gonna go on to eyes and I like to add a primer to my eyes you can use lots of different things I know that Maybelline have like cream eyeshadows that are very very similar to this so they're the tattoo ones and um, so they're great as a base if you want to make sure your eyeshadow lasts for longer I like to use this MAC paint parts and this is in painterly and it's basically just flesh coloured and it's a cream product and it just helps to adhere your eyeshadow to your eye. I get sweaty and flustered throughout the day and if I'm going to make a load of effort on eyeshadow I want it to stay there. So for today's video I know that not everyone's into makeup like me and I do have like naked palettes and Anastasia palettes all those types of things but I thought I would use my revolution one this is the 144 ultimate eyeshadow palette collection for 2017 they tend to bring these out at around the end of every year so the 2018 one hi Daisy 
<laughs> should be available soon and I buy mine from Superdrug but it's really inexpensive and 144 shadows you can't go wrong. So because I'm going for an autumnal look I'm going to be using a lot of these colours here and probably only use about three or four shades per makeup look that I do um, and I will show you as I go which ones I use. So starting with a crease brush this is just an elf brush don't get panicked about the price of your brushes just buy whatever you can afford I promise you'll be able to get a good job if you blend properly so I'm taking crease brush here and I'm taking a lovely warm coppery colour and I'm going to run that through the crease and when you first apply this you're going to look a bit ridiculous because blending is key but I am usually in a rush a lot of the time so I don't tend to apply you know bit by bit I tend to apply quite a lot to be honest and then I work on blending because it's just much more efficient for me I have two children I usually do my makeup before the school run I haven't got time to be layering um I mean hell I didn't even have time to do that when I didn't have kids these sort of shades that I'm using as well will work really well on any I particularly um green and blue because those orange warm tones are really going to make the blue and the green of your eyes pop but browns don't worry if you've got brown eyes you're going to look beautiful as well so that is the first shade and before i add any depth and darken that up a little bit i'm going to go in with a kind of rose goldy coppery shade on the lid with a flat eyeshadow brush and i'm going to pat this on because it's quite glitter laid in and i don't want a load of fallout all over my face then taking a smaller denser crease brush i'm just going to add a little bit of that copper colour that we used before just to deepen this up a little bit more and I honestly think I won't actually use another colour because I don't think I really need to. So before I move on to the rest of my eyes I'm going to now powder my face and this is the Rimmel Translucent Powder um, and I'm just going to quickly dab that onto my face, a really really thin layer with a kabuki brush and that is my food delivery i'll be right back i'm mac you can always count on something to go wrong can't you so that is my face set and now i'm going to move on to contour now this is quite expensive it's the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow but as you can see i love it a lot i've used it a lot it lasts a very long time now if you are struggling with budget i can recommend the sleek contour kits which are very inexpensive and then the maybelline fit me contour kit as well is really good is what i actually used to use when i was on maternity and i couldn't afford as much because we were on a very strict budget so i'm going to go in with the real technique contour brush and i'm going to do the big sucky face and basically do a e and a three on my face now what i will say is that you know contour is absolutely up to you if you would rather just dust a bit of bronzer on your face instead then you do that like contour is an extra step isn't it but i just really like the look that it gives my face i've got a bit of a round head <laughs> and without it i feel like i can sometimes look a little bit flat so if i'm really lucky i get a little helper set on my knee playing with my makeup but i'm going to go into blusher and this is benefits rocketeer big fan of this as you can probably tell they've got barely any left but it's a lovely warm shade it's like a rose gold really and it's great for all times of year but you know when you just want if you're doing like a quite a heavy look or you want like a natural flush and nothing too you know extreme it's the sort of thing that will go with every kind of makeup look which is why i think i use it so much so i'm just going to take a little bit on a blusher brush and put that on the apples of my cheeks so now all of my base is done and everything like that i'm going to finish off my eyes so i have the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner because it's absolutely brilliant and i'm just going to quickly do my top lids i don't do too much of a wing or too much of a thick line i just use it to accentuate my eyes and it also makes my eyelashes look thicker as well so what i tend to do next is mascara and the one i am loving at the moment is the l'oreal paradise ecstatic um mascara it's really like not that expensive at all and i love it when i find a good drugstore mascara they are usually quite good to be fair so this is what i'm going to use and i'm just going to put a nice couple of coats on my top lashes and what i tend to do is start from the bottom and wiggle up and this encourages my lashes to lift themselves and 
be nice and fluttery. So that's my mascara done and now it's on to lips and then I'm going to finish with highlighter and then we're completely done. So the lip liner I'm using is a Barry M lip liner and I am not 100% sure on the shade. It might be shade 7 but as you can see it's a very very dark plummy colour. And then the lipstick is Rimmel Starry Eyed. It's in this like purpley type tube and it's a very dark berry. This used to be a favourite of mine for ages and I rediscovered it when I was sorting out my makeup the other day so I thought oh I've got to use it in this video so that is my lips lined I like to do it quite gently so it's not too harsh and now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick and the thing with lipstick is that no matter how bad you are feeling nothing says hey guys I've got my shit together like a good lip so that is the lipstick don't you just love it I absolutely love this and it's so inexpensive as well um it's like a perfect plum and I'm just going to go in with the other half of my Charlotte Tilbury film star blondes and glow which is like the highlighter and I'm just going to swish that on the tops of my cheekbones and a little touch on my nose and then just on my forehead so that's the finished makeup look but I guess all I need to do now is sort my hair out so yeah that is the finished look the hair is um a tutorial that i've already done before so i'll leave that link down below it's really quick and easy and a lot quicker than washing and drying my hair so when it's greasy i can get a bit more life out of it if i uh, curl it as well so that is the finished look and what i would wear on an average day if i did fancy wearing a proper face of makeup which isn't admittedly every day but it makes me feel good when I do do it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you would like more videos like this, then let me know in the comments down below. And I will be sure to do some more for you throughout autumn and winter if you'd like to see it. If you've got any special requests as well, makeup wise, then just let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Bye.